subscribe Vision Channel. Today we will share information about around the sea world. Let's explore the sea. Ancient fish. They are the earliest known vertebrates and include the first and extinct fish that lived through the Cambrian to the Quaternary. They were very different from what we have today. They were larger and tougher scales. 1. Coelacanths Coelacanths are an ancient group of lobe-finned fish in the class Actinistia. As Sarcopterygians, they are more closely related to lungfish than to ray-finned fish. Well represented in both freshwater and marine fossils since the Devonian. They are now represented by only two extant marine species in the genus Latimeria, the West Indian Ocean Coelacan. Primarily found near the Comoro Islands off the east coast of Africa and the Indonesian Coelacan. The name, Coelacanth, originates from the Permian genus Coelacanthus, which was the first scientifically named Coelacanth. The oldest known Coelacanth fossils are over 410 million years old. Coelacanths were thought to have become extinct in the late Cretaceous, around 66 million years ago. But were discovered living off the coast of South Africa in 1938. The coelacanth was long considered a living fossil because scientists thought it was the sole remaining member of a taxon otherwise known only from fossils, with no close relations alive, and that it evolved into roughly its current form approximately 400 million years ago. However, Several more recent studies have shown that coelacanth body shapes are much more diverse than previously thought. 2. Frilled Shark The frilled shark and the southern African frilled shark are the two extant species of shark in the family Chlamydocelachidae. Such as a dark brown color, amphistyle, and 6.6 .6 feet long body which has dorsal, pelvic, and anal fins located towards the tail. The common name, frilled shark, derives from the fringed appearance of the six pairs of gill slits at the shark's throat. The two species of frilled shark are distributed throughout regions of the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Usually in the waters of the outer continental shelf and of the upper continental slope. where the sharks usually live near the ocean floor, near biologically productive areas of the ecosystem. To live on a diet of cephalopods, smaller sharks, and bony fish, the frilled shark practices diet vertical migration. When hunting food, the frilled shark moves like an eel, bending and lunging to capture and swallow whole prey. With its long and flexible jaws, which are equipped with 300 recurve, needle-like teeth. 3. Goblin Shark The goblin shark is a rare species of deep-sea shark. Sometimes called a living fossil. It is the only extant representative of the family Mitsukurinidae, a lineage some 125 million years old. This pink-skinned animal has a distinctive profile with an elongated, flat snout, and highly protrusible jaws. It is usually 4 meters long when mature, though it can grow considerably larger such as one captured in 2000 that is thought to have measured 6 meters. Goblin sharks are benthopelagic creatures that inhabit upper continental slopes, submarine canyons, and seamounts. throughout the world at depths greater than 100 meters, with adults found deeper than juveniles. 
Some researchers believe that these sharks could also dive to depths of up to 1,300 meters, for short periods of time. Various anatomical features of the goblin shark, such as its flabby body and small fins, suggest that it is sluggish in nature. This species hunts for teleost fishes, cephalopods, and crustaceans both near the seafloor and in the middle of the water column. Its long snout is covered with ampullae of Lorenzini that enable it to sense minute electric fields. Produced by nearby prey, which it can snatch up by rapidly extending its jaws. Small numbers of goblin sharks are unintentionally caught by deepwater fisheries. The International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, has assessed it as least concern, citing its wide distribution and low incidence of capture. 4. Dragonfish Dragonfish, also known as dragonets or viperfish, are a group of deep-sea fish belonging to the family Stomiidae. They are characterized by their long, slender bodies and fang-like teeth. Dragonfish exhibit various adaptations to survive in the dark depths of the ocean. Dragonfish have specialized light-producing organs called photophores that allow them to generate their own light. These photophores are located along their bodies and emit a red light, which is invisible to most deep-sea creatures. The bioluminescence helps them attract prey and communicate with other dragonfish. Dragonfish are predatory fish that feed on a variety of smaller organisms, including crustaceans, small fish, and other zooplankton. They use their sharp teeth and expandable stomachs to capture and consume prey items that venture close enough to their bioluminescent lures. Dragonfish are found in oceans around the world, primarily in the mesopelagic and bathypelagic zones. which are depths ranging from about 200 meters to several thousand meters below the ocean surface. Due to their deep-sea habitat and elusive nature, much about their biology and behavior remains a subject of ongoing research and exploration. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. See you later!